this is not a video and that I plan to film today at all. When I was 15 years old, I got into K-pop, Korean pop music, and I started with Super Junior, Dongpang Shinki, and there were some girl groups here and there, you know, and K-pop came at a time when I was really struggling, you know, being a child in an abusive household that was physical and emotional, and, you know, I was feeling isolated, being the only deaf student, and, you know, things like that, and K-pop was there for me, like J-pop was, I got into J-pop, Japanese pop, earlier than that and you know it's just it was an escape for me i learned about new groups i enjoyed songs music videos the variety shows like talk shows and the great thing about foreign media was that it came subtitled very often so it all added happiness to my isolated depressed abused deaf self i'm just sitting here and quiet for a while before i can even think of what else i want to say there are so many K-pop groups that I can mention that I grew up loving, but three in particular that I would like to mention are Shiny, FX, and Kara. And these three groups have something in common. One member in each group has passed away. And it wasn't due to anything like a car accident, violence that, that is physical or anything like that. In, in the traditional sense, like when you watch local news and there's a murder, right? But suicide, depleting mental health. I think it was December 23rd, 2017 that Jung Hyung from Shiny passed away. Earlier in the fall of this year, Sully passed away. And today, Guhara from Kara has passed away. Now it's been confirmed, obviously, that Jung Hyun and Sully passed via suicide. With Hara, it hasn't yet been confirmed as of the time that I'm filming this, but in May, you know, she was hospitalized because of an attempt, and it, it, it's it's no secret that she's been open about her struggle, so it's, so there isn't really a doubt in anyone's mind, I think, that she very likely passed away by suicide. And God, it hurts. Growing up, listening to K-pop and viewing other Korean entertainment, there was, this, this isn't new. Suicide hasn't been new. Severe mental health depression has not been new. But it was usually, at least from what I remember, people that I never really knew about. And now it's happening to the people that I, that we grew up with, people that are the same age as me that we grew up with, you know? We saw them from when they first debuted to when everybody disbanded, and oh, there was a connection there. So while we obviously never actually knew these people in the sense like your best friend from grade school, you had some sort of connections. You get what I mean. And to see this happening in two in one year, not even really two months apart, I think, hurt so bad. Sully passed because she was depressed from being bullied by so many people all the time for years. Guhara was being blackmailed and Jung Hyung, I don't believe that anyone really bullied him online, but you know, he was, he was suffering. All three of these people were suffering and they weren't able to get the help that they needed. Why? As someone who struggles with mental health or depression herself, you know, I thought that at 21 I wasn't going to be here anymore. Then I said again, once that passed, I was like, at 25, I'm not going to be here anymore. And I'm getting help for that. It, it just hurts me so deeply that these people had, were not able to get help. They were crying for help, but nobody really wanted to help them. And maybe there were some attempts from somebody, but it, it wasn't working. Sully was being brutalized by citizens, by netizens, you know, internet citizens. And she was struggling to get help. She was crying even just days before she passed away and nobody was helping her. Haro was being blackmailed, threatened with a sex tape from her ex-boyfriend and he 
from what I read, physically assaulted her. I'm not sure in what way, but she was in such an abusive situation that in some way she got out of, but not really because of this black cloud that was hanging over her. And where were the people to stand up for her and help her with that? I just want to know. When Jong Hyun passed, we really hoped that this wasn't going to happen again. And then two years later, Sully passed and we were worried about who was going to be next. Who was going to be next? Was it going to be Taeyeon from Girls' Generation because she was best friends with both Jung Hyun and Sully and they both passed the same way? And we were, we are still worried about her because... It's, it hurts when one goes and it's even more hurtful when two go. And now someone else is gone and I'm not sure if Taeyeon and Hara have a relationship or friendship at all. But when you're in the same line of work, when you grew up in the same kind of work at the same time, one can only wonder how they're feeling. I really wish something was able to change, but I... I don't even know what could possibly change. What can one person do on the other side of the world, right? You know, I wish I talked about this kind of stuff more. I wish I made mental health videos more. But one, I know it's difficult for me sometimes to talk about it, especially to the degree that I would like to talk about it. Like a lot of my mental health comes because of child abuse. And I want to talk more about that, be open more about that, but it is difficult. So I usually end up trying to separate the two topics when really I should be combining both, but it feels so difficult to do so. But when things like this happen, it just makes me want to do that more, even though at the end of the day I get scared and then back out at like the last minute. But I feel like maybe I should stop doing that because what if those videos help somebody? But also, I know there are a lot of people, and some people have commented saying this, which is how I know, that those types of videos make people stray away from the channel a little bit. Not just, not, not necessarily because, oh great, look at what she's talking about, but more of like, I can't handle watching something about that right now for my own mental health, which, is, which I completely understand. But golly, maybe it should be posted anyways, because who knows, somebody might come across it, and it may help. And then I think about the fact that I've come across videos that are like the ones that I want to make, and I see them, and that sparks up a little fire in me. So if that actually happened to me, why wouldn't I want to return that favor? Why wouldn't I want to pay that forward? This actually isn't a very well-planned video, and... I want to apologize, but at the same time I don't because I feel like this is important, but I also just want to be like genuine and honest. I mean, the news just broke out this morning. How can you sit down and plan out what you want to say cohesively at a time like this? I don't think you really can. Sometimes you just can't. Sometimes you just want to make a video and let your feelings out and be as genuine as possible because we know we all have a genuine problem on YouTube where things aren't so genuine. Sometimes you gotta be really vulnerable, right? Even if it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. <laughs> I don't know a whole lot about resources in South Korea and really in any other part of the world other than the United States, but I will try to put post resources in the description box because I feel like there's an easy link somewhere where there's uh, hotlines of various countries, but at least in the United States, you know, we have crisis text line, which I personally use, so the number is 741-741, so it's supposed to be 24-7. I use them occasionally when I'm out and about, and I just needed something, uh, you know, really quick, and it was really nice to let my feelings out, and I've worked with them before, and I really like what, they're sta what they stand for. This video is not sponsored by them by any means. If you are able to get help with therapy, I, I highly recommend it. I, I know it's extremely expensive and often inaccessible. Like for me, I, I use an online app because it's the most accessible for me with texts and things. But if you're able to get help, I highly encourage it. So it has really helped me get a lot of feelings out. Some sessions are just about the most random things ever, but you know, and then some sessions are about things that I'm actually struggling with, you know, so highly recommend that. Um, it's been almost two years since the passing of Jung Young, and I'm not even over that. He was definitely my favorite, 
of Shiny and Sully was my favorite of FX. A couple of months ago, I went to New York and we were stopping by this Korean book music store because I was really curious. And I saw, was it a Shiny album or was it Jung Hyung's solo album? I think it was his solo album. Even though it was two years later, I just kind of stopped walking and really stopped doing anything. And I just kind of looked at the album and I got really sad and my boyfriend was there and he understands absolutely nothing of K-pop, Korean media culture, any of that. But I was just like, oh man, this, <laughs> this sucks, man. Like, ah, oh, damn. Please, if you can, again, seek help. Please don't be afraid to seek help. I, and for other folks out there, if somebody is obviously struggling, help them. I know it's easier said than done because even a lot of us who seek help make it difficult to accept it. So I know when people are like, if you want to text me about anything, you can, and ha half the time I never do. But <laughs> I, I don't know, it's so complicated, but at the same time, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be so hard to seek help, and obviously in some countries, it's much more of a stigma than it is in other countries. I, ugh. I don't really know how to wrap up this video, if I'm gonna be honest. But Jong Hong, Sully, Hara, I'm so sorry that you had to go through the pain that you did. I'm sorry that people weren't weren't able to help. Whether they generally, I guess, weren't able to help, or whether people were straight up ignoring it. I hope that all three of you are at peace now, at least. I just hope that we don't have a fourth. If you got to the end of this video, I appreciate you watching. Thank you, and I'll see you later. Bye.